All right, welcome back, guys, to the front splitter build. Um, I believe it's day nine. Uh, I'm not sure how much I filmed the last time I left. I think the camera battery died, if I recall, but got a lot done. So what I ended up doing was I got the front anchors on. I also got this cable system on the sides finished. So very rigid when pushing down down force, but if I do happen to hit a rumble strip or something on the way up around the track. You know, it has some give upwards, which is nice, but down was very solid. Um, this section here is still a bit flexy. So what I might do is get another U channel, I mean a molding and maybe put a U that runs from here to here on both sides. But other than that, mounting is pretty much finished, um, which is a big relief. So I think once I get those two U's, done there and there it's time to sand and we will paint um, just to waterproof it and get it looking nice but let me get those used done and then um, we'll see where we're at Perfect. 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 All right, guys, little update. Um, sanded the whole thing, top and bottom, started with some. 80 grit, 60 grit actually, sorry, and then went on to 180 grit all along the top. Focused a lot on the leading edge here because that's a bit you're going to see really. Um, I think I've done an okay job, I'm not really uh, an expert on this, but for paint, let me show you. I've had this can sitting here for a couple years, not a couple years, about a year. So this is paint and primer, matte black. I think it's meant for metals. Um, well, wood metal in the more eco. Um, fast drying indoor outdoor. I'm gonna use this stuff. Um, I don't know if um, I should really do like an epoxy or something to seal the wood, but if this works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll try again. But I'm gonna hit it with this. Um, the weather today said it was supposed to be raining. It's a bit cloudy, but might get away with it. So I'm going to start with some light coats of this. Um, hit it with that. Hopefully this thing is almost done. All right, guys, got a bit lucky, I think. It's supposed to rain today, but the sun has just come out. We've got a bit of sun. So I'm going to try to take advantage of that. We've got the splitter set up. Um, I'm trying to get these coats in quick in case it does end up raining. Alright guys, um, pretty much used the whole can, 
Um, I think I got about four coats onto this thing. Still drying, but you know, I focused a lot more just on the front edge where you're going to see most of it. I mean, the back no one's going to see. Didn't get to do the underside because I ran out of paint, but no one's going to see, hopefully. Um, anyway, I'm going to let this dry. While it dries, I'm going to leave it for about an hour. Hopefully the sun comes back out. It's currently behind all those clouds. Um, I'm going to head to the Bunnings one last time, hopefully. I'm going to pick up just a couple more things. Um, so what I want to do is here, where I've got the cable system for the sides, um, I want to replace this part with a bottle screw so I can adjust the tension and also um, having a bottle screw I can have a cotter pin linch pin with a jaw fitting here and it will just make it easier to get to take off on and off so this eye kind of stays on the splitter um, permanently so I'm gonna get that and that's basically it um, might start cleaning up but yeah excited this is finally over it's been nine days when I thought it would take me honestly three <laughs> but um, I'll let that dry, I'll head and get the last couple of things and then update you guys when hopefully everything gets put back together. Welcome back guys, a little update. It's day 10, which is what I'm hoping to be the final day we have to work on this. But this is sort of the splitter right now. See, I've added more supports, more aluminum molding, one around the, along the back, two diagonals and two straight ones. So the actual car, it's gonna be hard mounted there with the two rods and two wires on the corner. So let me put that on and hopefully it's all done. Actually, what I want to do first is I want to see how much that whole package weighs with all the uh, mounting brackets. So I've got a luggage scale here. Luggage scale has a max weight of 50 kilo. So I'm just going to try to hang that off one of the mounting points and then see how much this actually weighs. So it weighs about 8.2 kilo for the whole thing, which is pretty good. Um, I mean, with that stuff, maybe a bit more, maybe towards 9, 10. But, you know, like way under 15, way under 20. Nine, 10 kilo for a front, front splitter made out of wood. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm about to bolt it back up. Um, the only thing that does suck is I do lose access to my front jacking point. Um, there, so I know the other other front under trays and things have a cutout. So somewhere down the track, I might cut out a big square there and cover it with some maybe um, aluminium plate, like sheet metal. But for now, it works. I'll just use the side jacking points. But that is something to note.
final update. Um, this thing is done. I never thought I would say those words, but it is done. All mounted up, car is down on the ground. Front mount, center mount, and the side cable mounts. Um, looks really good, honestly. Way better than I expected. But, yeah, um, I've got the regular bump here. Track bumper is um, drying. I just gave it a quick wash. But it is really nice. Nice and sturdy. Um, I'm going to throw the track bumper on and then I'll go test this thing out. Really happy with that. Might take this car home with me today to my place and then leave the daily here and I'll pick the daily up another day. But look at that. It looks really good.